Hello, YouTubers, gamers, Genesis fanatics, and all those who happen to watch. Well, here's my package again. Just kidding. Alright, so, yeah, I'm going to kill that joke and bury it six feet under by the time this week's done. Alright, so, my brother showed his collection of Sega Genesis games, and I felt that I had to, re, you know, not only promote the video for him, you know, but also share my collection too. So that way people who own Sega Genesis collections, you know, can jump over and go, well, I'm going to share my collection too then. So that way, you know, sort of builds off a little chain of events. Alright, so I got a crap load of carts and a crap load of cased games. These are collected over the years, you know, same format, same this and that. You know, I haven't really got rid of a lot of my games. I like to keep them even though some of them I don't like. So, first one I do like, Turrican. This was originally produced on the Amiga console. It was, you know, pretty great game. Next to that is its little uh, bastard cousin, uh, Mega Turrican. Uh, this, of course, was also released on the Amiga. The series, of course, was developed by this guy who was basically... Um, a lot of sprites, which Duke Nukem ripped off from the Turrican and a few other games. But, you know, we won't go there. But, you know, because I like Duke Nukem a lot. I'm organizing these as we speak, so I thought maybe two that'd be killing two birds with one stone. Uh, next game I have is Ghouls and Ghosts. Pretty rough copy of this. You can tell, like, this is all destroyed. And probably going to have to find a way I can, you know, get a screen copy and print this on there again and reprint it. Next copy I have is Taz Escape from Mars. <clears throat> Samurai Shodan. Or Showdown or Shodan. Wayne's World, I fucking hate this game. Prince of Persia for the Sega Genesis, pretty good one. Driving two at a time. Sonic, I got a couple of these, so. Sonic, not for resale copy. Sonic 2. I do have a couple of these as well. Zoop. This was a very popular game when the Genesis came out and a few other consoles. Quite, it was quite pot, it was like super popular. Another Sonic copy. Quite popular. Something you would have to try. Uh, Lemmings. Personally, I like the PC version, the DOS version rather, more. Uh, Lightning Force, Quest for the Dark Star. I think I believe this is part three to what Sean ha shows in his video. Dino Land, also pretty good game. This right here is a well sought after game. Yes, you know what this is if you already seen the cover. Kid Chameleon. Awesome game, guys. Awesome game. Hard as hell, some points, but fun. Got through it one night when I was going through one of my depressional states. The Revenge, the Revenge of Sonobi. This was given to me by my friend James. Thanks again, James, for this, bud. Um, he gave this game to me for my birthday a year or two back. Actually, a, two years back. Awesome game. Toy Story? Whoa. Uh, I gave a cop one extra copy I had because I got these in the I got this in a bulk a lot with a few other games here. For for Tyson seven sixteen, I or TG sixteen, I gave a copy of this to him for his Genesis. Um uh, <laughs> Echo the Dolphin. The Underwater Metroid, which I really just like my brother, I really don't like this game and you know, I'm not gonna say what he just said because you know I feel the same way. <laughs> I just got it. It was like three bucks. I was like, all right, cool. Another one my uh, James gave me was Shadow Dancer, The Secret of Sonobi. Also another great game. Vector Man. Had a request by this by Luki to play it. Uh, Sequest DSV. I don't really understand this damn game other than the fact I want to rip my hair out. 
the Game Genie, so I can play Mega Drive games on my Sega Genesis. Mm-hmm. Put that up there, because that's something I'm not going to really organize with the rest of them. This right here is actually, you know, kind of sought after. Even though this is kind of... The Sonic and Knuckles cartridge. This was very unique. It was backwards compat. This is what like one of the first I think games that was backwards compatible, or really one of its kind, that could combine the two through three for the Sonics into this get into the uh, characters or the Knuckles, I believe, into their games. This right here was like it was very unique, very unique. If you have a Sega Genesis, do I would seriously recommend getting this game. You know, very awesome. Next game is Monopoly. That's great to play with the family. Pac Mania. Toe Jam and Earl and Panic and Funko Tron. That one was pretty cool. Uh, Pac Mania was pretty cool too, but you know, I, I like the uh, classic arcade edition of uh, Pac Man. Shining in the Darkness. Very good game. Just got this one today. Uh, Pythos, or P, uh, Pylos, mythological stuff. Pretty good shooter. <laughs> PGA Tour 96, made by EA, which were the bastard children of the gaming world. <laughs> Menacer, which is not a game, it's just, oh, it is a game, which just came with the gun that came with the Sega Genesis. We won't get into that one. Uh, MiG-29 Fighter Pilot. Played a little bit of this. I wasn't too into it. What else we got here? Alright. Got the rest of these. Pinocchio. Fun game. A little bit of a challenge. X-Men 2 The Clone Wars. Ooh, I scratched myself pretty good here. Art form gym for the Sega Genesis. <coughs> possum, possum. <laughs> Double Dragon Five, which this is a pile of fucking dog shit. I really do not like this game because you know I can understand games are being different from the series, but this is just a shit fest for a fighter. I really wanted to expect like a freaking brawler game out of this, but they disappointed me. Uh, this is the first game out of the series. Also came out for the Amiga. Derek Chester will be pleased with you, Fiddle. No, I'm just kidding. Um, James Pond for the Sega Genesis. It was a pretty great game. This was the first game, though. Don't, don't be fooled by the... Uh, where is it? It's in the console, but... Don't be fooled by this. This is the actual first game for the James Pond series. It's uh, exploratory, and you know it's it kind of blows your mind. You're trying to think what the hell you're supposed to do most of the time, but it's a fun game. This one my mother loves with the passion of the Christ is a miniature golf. It's a miniature golf game, uh, Zany Golf. Crazy loopy levels in this. It's worth a try too. It's if you probably find this in a bargain bin somewhere for like I don't know three five dollars. It's a great little game if you want to play with your bros, you're really drunk, you want to play some, uh, some zany golf. <laughs> More of these going to blend off into shooters. Yeah, just about a big chunk of these are shooters. Uh, Fantastic Dizzy, which is like a platformer adventure game. Cartridge is very interesting, too. James Buster Douglas Boxing. I don't really like boxing games that much. And Sector X. Pretty great shooter. My one of my brother's favorites. One of, not meant not, not the favorite, I don't believe. One of his favorites is he, you know, he said in the past. Uh Troubleshooter. This is the don't let the case conceive you with this like really crappy uh, girls look like they came out of that music video from I like my heart to a Starship Trooper. 
it's it's a great little shooter game. It's kind of like uh, Forgotten Worlds, but with two chicks. You simultaneously have two chicks. One has a heavy artillery, the other one has like a lighter gun. It's an interesting game. It's a little bit hard. You, you, if you play it, you'll actually think it's quite interesting for what it is. Wings of War. This game right here has a lot of controversy behind it because of the penis as one of the bosses during the end. You literally fight a penis, guys. I'm not kidding you. Go look on Google. Forgot Worlds. <laughs> Everyone knows about Forgotten Worlds. Game over. <laughs> All right. Goofy's Historical Tour. Oh, Historical. Goof uh, History Tour. Oh, Hysterical. Historical? Oh, Hysterical Miss History Tour. Yeah, there we go. Tongue twister there. Another great game, too. The Disney games, like my brother j said in his previous video, do have a great appeal if they're made by Capcom. Great games if they're made by Capcom. Like the Goof Troop game for the game, the uh, Super Nintendo. Oh, great game. John, Ma John Madden Football for the Gen so it's Ega Genesis. I won't go there. Uh, Alright. Some of these will click an eye in my brother's head. These are familiarity. Uh, Atomic Robo Kid by Cases. Now I'm going into Cases. This is a not resale copy of Sonic 2. Golden Axe. Trampoline Terror. Another copy of Sonic. Streets of Rage. Rage of Streets. <laughs> Another great beat em up. <sighs> Quack Shot. 60, uh, 688 Attack Sub. Lotus 2 Asterix. I remember getting this with uh, Funkland, not Funkland, um, Sears. I like this game. I don't care what people say. Fuck them. <laughs> Sid of Alice. You saw some footage for that. Not a lot of people might agree with me with this one, but. Another great title, Incredible Hulk. I like this one out the kids, so I like it now. A little bit weird scenes and all that, but it was pretty cool. Mickey Mania. This game is just freaking hard. Oh, makes Kirk and makes Kirk and look like it's easy. <laughs> this right here is a Metroid meets uh, Mega Man clone. It's really how you can really word this game is Mega Man meets a Metroid clone. Stage wise, pretty lengthy, pretty good stuff. Uh, Bob, BLB. Fun game, guys. A very fun game. Takes some used to, getting used to at first. It's a cool spot. Cute game. I don't care what anybody says about this game. Mortal Kombat! Okay, you gotta get the rest of these. Castle of Illusion, starring Mickey Mouse. A classic Genesis game, by far. Very loved by a lot of people. If you don't like this game, you should just go sell your Sega Genesis right now. Sell it. Chuck Rock. Is the game even in here still? No, oh, it is. With some dust. <laughs> one of my mom's favorites. Yes, we had one of those classic gaming moms. 
Battle Master. This game right here, if you haven't tried this already, try it. You will like it. Some scenes, some areas are just freaking, oh, they're just so hard, guys. They were just so hard. Was it Hell's Kitchen? I remember I was a kid, and I, like, I was doing pretty good, too. I was progressing pretty well in the game. I went to Hell's Kitchen, and I got my ass handed to me. Like, literally got one shot, and all my troops were gone. My dad's game. This is my, this belongs to my father. Because he also had a gaming daddy, too. And I call him daddy. Stridar. Everybody knows about this game. Yeah. Okay, now people are probably going to laugh at me for having this in my collection and saying I actually enjoy it, but... Ariel, the Little Mermaid. I don't care what anybody freaking says, this game was cool. It was easy, but it was cool. If you like that Golden Dolphin, then this game was for you, pretty much. Okay. Our original copy of Altered Beast. I have another one over there, I think, sitting in my bureau. But uh, Altered Beast, great game. This one's also a fun game. I don't care what anybody says about this freaking game. They say it sucks. That means they must suck at the game, and they must got some point during the game when they got bored. This game is just fun. Krusty's Super Fun House, fun freaking game. I don't care. This game is fun too. It just it gets on your freaking nerves sometimes. DJ Boy. It's a brawler game. It takes some getting used to. It's very progressive, so expect a lot of hair tearing. Next games this is going to be the final I'm going to show because I you know, want to save the best for last. <laughs> Fantasy Star 2. Case manual, blah blah blah. Fantasy Star 3. Generations of Doom. Great series. Fantasy Star 4, which is the prize gem of the entire collection by a lot of people's standards and mine's alone. Very, very, very good Sega Genesis RPG, which I still to this date don't truly understand why the value of this game isn't higher than what it is because of the freaking quality that you had in this game, the cinemas, the storyline, the gameplay, the just the, cri the, the criteria of this con console game which is just such good quality. It was something that everybody could pick up, they could play, they could get into the characters a lot. There was a lot of shockers in this car this series. It was great. This game, ending the series. Then they came out Fantasy Star uh, Zero, which I have no opinion on because I never played it. Put those down there because those go separate from everybody else. <laughs> But I'm still going to do the reviews for that. Oh, let's plays. Because I'm getting good feedback, guys, again, from the uh, Fantasy Star games. I'd like to thank you guys again for watching this. Uh, this is going to be no editing involved. So you're going to get you know me walking around, scratching my butt pretty much uh, through this. But again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Um, I'm very happy you guys watched and saw my collection. Very happy when you guys share your collection with my brother's video. Please attach, rather than attach it to my video, if you guys have a video response showing off all your games, uh, attach them to my brother's video, which I'm going to be doing to myself for myself to his video. So that way, because you know it's really I looked at his video, said, "Oh, I should show my collection then," kind of thing, you know. So give him some credit for what credits do for that. So with that said, I'm going to be ending this video, walking over there, shutting it off, and I'll put all these games away. All the boxed ones, and put, I'll just put these on the shelf over here in alphabetical order, so that way I have a nice organized collection. <laughs> Package, but yeah, that of course is with the lights are off. Time to take off the pants. Oh yeah, no. All right, guys, I'm gonna turn off this video now. Say thank you guys so much for watching.